Hi, I'm Kirk White, independent filmmaker, web sensation, figure of note in the world of global logistics, and reality television star, Z network veteran. I was on that show with Alan Hunter, which I lost. But that's not important right now. What's important is movies. You love them, I make them. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. And trust me, it does not get any better than that. Hi, I'm Kirk White, independent filmmaker, web sensation, regular note in the real chop a chop, and your mama. <laughs> Hi, friends, it's your old pal Super K, and I'm speaking to you directly from the heart of Quite Film Studios in lovely Westfield, New Jersey, AKA my basement. And I gotta be honest with you, it's taken me probably 25 attempts to make this video. I try to be clever. I'm also slightly deaf in this year, so I'm constantly surprised by people. I tried to be funny. My acting style is actually more akin to Bleh! And I think this material deserves better than that. I tried to be arty. I need your faith, and your hope, and your love, and your support like a lot of your money. And in the end, it just reeked of effort. And I think you deserve better than that. So I'm just gonna talk to you for a few minutes and then we're gonna go from there, okay? I am a filmmaker of some renown. I've made three features and 13 short films in about a three year period. And I've learned a lot, mostly of what I do not know how to do. There are a couple things that I don't do so well, like C. I call this the Bazooka Joe conundrum. If I hold the Bazooka Joe comic close enough, the words are blurry. If I hold it far enough out where the words aren't blurry, they're too small. I can basically never read Bazooka Joe comics again. This saddens me. But the biggest lesson I've learned from all of this is that there comes a time when you achieve critical mass of what you can do by yourself. And that time is nigh. I've written a script. I am very proud of it. It's called The Soul Garden. And I'm not going to give you too much away about it because I'm going to be teasing in the next few weeks. But suffice it to say, I am about to make the art house version of Reanimator. Now some of you might be saying that Reanimator is already an art house film, and to you sir, I say shut a you face. It's a cool script. It's got a lot of really cool characters, it's got some cool special effects, or it could. And recently it won second place in the Movie Poet Feature Film Script Contest. You may be asking yourself why it didn't win first place, and that's because of dirty New Jersey politics. And also because the other script was slightly better. Doesn't matter, because we're making this movie. And that's why we're here today, folks. I need your help. I know that this is an aggressive budget, but I believe in this script, and I believe that this movie could be something really special. And trust me, I've thought a lot about this budget, I've spent a lot of time putting it together, and this is the exact minimum amount of money to make this movie the way it needs to be made. Because I want to hire a crew, a professional crew. This is me not making any money off of it, me not getting paid for anything, but being able to hire a professional director of photography, a professional sound mixer. And I want to pay my actors, because acting is freaking hard. So what do you say? Together we can make an amazing movie. So take a look around, check out some of the perks we have to offer. I think our perks are pretty cool. DVDs, Blu-rays, posters, pictures, we have immersion. If you like to be immersed into a process, you can totally get immersed. You're gonna get a lot of really cool stuff. I hope that I'm pointing at the cool stuff and not at the other opposite side of the screen. I don't really know how all this works. So that's it. Consider giving. We can make a movie that we're all gonna be proud of. Come back often. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of my short films with you. I'm gonna be sharing some writings and stuff like that. Uh, some shout outs from some actors that I've worked with. And above all, if you don't feel comfortable giving, that's completely understandable, but please consider sharing this on your social media feeds. I uh, just want to get the word out as much as I can, because remember, a friend of quite is a friend all right.